second straight game missing through injury, and Vanni Sartini has stressed the importance of playing his physically strongest 11 rather than maybe the most talented team in this flurry of games in the last two weeks. It's Georgie Menungo who gets the start on right wing with the balance of the team the same as the one that beat Houston on Saturday. Third playoff run in the last four seasons for the Whitecaps as they find their form, and we are off and running here at BC Place as they battle for runs in the ladder here in the Western Conference. And right away, the Whitecaps pressing in deep as Brian White tried to get in the way of Yamar. Here's that. Right towards the spot. That went side goal and tucked in by Meningo. Revenge for the original foul in the corner. And Georgi Meningo puts the Sounders on the board one to nil. And as he always is, Jordan Morris making himself such a presence in the air. One of the best headers of the ball in Major League Soccer. Ahead of a couple of white caps. Good ball in from Rusnak that's bending away from the white cap defenders. Veselinovic, he's beaten in the air. And Morris climbs high above, heads down. And Menungo can't miss from a yard out. And the Sounders with an early lead here as it gets by Laborda. He can't get his footing right. But a, another set play goal. The Just not allowing any forward progress here for the Whitecaps. Yohei Takoka decides to take matters into his own hands. Brian White has to get the ball, lays that off for Berhalter a little too far, and now the rebound! Cry! Pico on the rebound, and he can't tuck it in. Alone in the corner's got to hurry as the Cavalry's arrived in Rothrock. Tried to cross that. That did somehow get past Christian Roldan, but Pico almost didn't expect it to happen. Whitecaps hold on to it. Vite rolling that through for White. And Akumi jumped that over the net somehow as it got beyond Brian White. And Akumi just hit it strangely, Dolly, for lack of a better word. Right. He's got him twisted a little bit. Now goes centrally for Rusnak. Through ball is a good one. Rothrock looking for Morris just past the far post. Perfect ball, though. That is exactly where you want to put it from Paul Rothrock. So this in whatever sequence to follow, and that should be about it. Here it comes from Berhalter, rolling towards the spot to the edge now. Rothrock can't get it deep. Vitae setting up Berhalter once more. That one flicked towards goal by Veselinovic, but well off the mark. And jump. Overlapping was Pedro Vite into space for Pico. Papa Pico. Too far for Brian White. Adekubi cutting it back. Vite! What a stop on the goal line! Knew who? And for Alex rolled on. Christian. Open Vargas outside the box. Tess Yohe Takaoka didn't have enough on it though. Easy save for the Whitecaps goalkeeper. Sprinting down the right side. Rothrock has switched over. He's there on the right. He'll get it. Or will he? Given back the ball now by Berhalter. Taken down inside the box. And Chris Pencil points to the spot. And a chance to maybe put this match away for Seattle. A loose ball from Manungo. And that's where it looked like Berhalter might get away with it. And then Veselinovic trying to reach out with the left foot. Comes across, across Rothrock. And takes down the Seattle winger over on the right side now. And that will be tough to overturn, I don't think. And 20-second goal contribution. Stares down Takaoka. Rusnak from the spot. Tucks it in under the keeper. And it's 2-0 Seattle here. As this Cascadia rivalry is heating up. Nine goals on the season. He goes where he likes to go. He draws the free kick. The penalty is dispatched by Albert Rusnak, who's having a career year here in Seattle. The injuries no Ali Ahmed, of course. That's a, probably a big one for them. But no Joao Paulo, no Raul Rui Diaz, no Leo Chu for the Sounders. And no Dula Vega in the starting 11. Rothrock down the left side. Rothrock! Tucks it in! It's 3-0 Seattle! And what a run! For the son of Seattle. As he continues to be the star of the moment. As he finds the inside of the post, it's a nice flick on by Morris. And then Rusnak puts it perfectly into the path. So Rothrock can continue in stride. And then he measures up that far corner and puts it beyond Takaoka. You can see him eyeing the corner 
He doesn't have to hit it all that sweetly just accurately and he does that. Four goals in back to back games eight on the season in all competitions go to sleep in the seventh place position but that match isn't over yet. Christian rolled on sends that up for Pedro Vite Vite just into the chest of Stefan Fry. Wants to make sure that they get through but I'm a little surprised actually that those changes weren't made just a little bit earlier. Give his team a rest. They're playing Saturday. Morris in alone. Yohei Takaoka, a sprawling save. And Jordan Morris that close to adding another for Seattle. Trying to stretch him out in terms of getting that fitness line. With a 3 1 lead, I'm mildly surprised. A 3 0 lead, mildly surprised he came in. And that one gets through to Brian White. Saved by Stephen Fry. Now, Pico pops one wide. And the Whitecaps may not get a better chance than that one. And there's a few to choose from. Let's be honest. I mentioned Nuhu, how well he's played. Monongo was excellent from the start. Give it away. Levante Johnson for Gabriel Caicedo. Double clutches and can't beat Fry. That one sails wide of the mark to the six. Yamar taps that out, and Alex Roldan releases the Sounders. 3v3 if they can hurry, but Fafa Pico certainly can hurry. He takes down Rusnak, and lucky, no, he is going to leave. After three red cards had gone in their favor in the first two matches. It seemed like that. As he knows that his striker, who has been in very good form offensively throughout these last few games, will not be available to him on Saturday against Minnesota in a crucial game. As Stefan Fry will touch the ball for the final time. There's the final whistle from Chris Pinto. And a dominant, thorough victory for Seattle.